Hi there, my name is Alistair Jackson, I work for the Big Lottery Fund and today I'll be talking a little bit about our grants in Scotland. Hopefully you will have also seen this leaflet. This covers most of the grants that we have available right now in Scotland. The seven main grants are on this side, covering everything from the smallest grants at this end up to the largest grants at the other end. And I'm going to follow that same sort of structure today. A couple of general points before we start talking about any funds in particular. Most of our grants have no deadlines, so you don't have to get an application in by a particular closing date. And generally speaking, only organisations can apply, not individual people, but most types of organisation are eligible to apply, whether that's a charitable group, a social enterprise, a local authority or another statutory body such as a school. There are a few types of grants that we offer where only locally run and led community organisations can apply but we'll mention those as we come to those. So all that said, here we go. Our small grants start at £500 and our most popular grant, Awards for All Scotland, goes from £500 up to £10,000. Awards for All Scotland is our most popular fund and probably our broadest and easiest to access fund as well. You can get grants for anything from running local community events, refurbishing a local building, setting up a new organisation, buying equipment and much, much more. Basically, if you are new to our funding and you don't know where to start, Awards for All is the place to go. If you get a grant, you have to spend it within 12 months and you have to apply at least four months before you plan to start the work. Our Investing in Ideas Fund also offers grants between £500 and £10,000 and it can help organisations to develop new ideas, pilot new work, conduct feasibility studies and test things out. Again, these grants need to be spent within 12 months and you need to apply about four months before you're looking to start anything. For a limited time only, we're also running a fund called Celebrate that offers grants up to £5,000 to let people celebrate their local area, come together and celebrate their community, their neighbourhood, their history, maybe with an event, maybe with a series of activities. There's no deadline for Celebrate, but we will only be giving grants out until the money runs out, so get cracking soon if you're interested in applying to that. Turnaround for that is about eight weeks. We also offer some medium level grants in Scotland, starting with our Young Start Fund. Through Young Start, we offer grants of between £10,000 and £50,000 for up to two years for projects working with young people, where the young people will be significantly involved in actually leading and running the work that you're applying for. You can get a grant, as I say, for up to two years and you should apply three to four months before you're looking to start anything. All the funds I've talked about so far, if you want to apply to them, you can simply go to our website, you can download the application form and you can submit it. That won't be the case for the ones I'm talking about from now on, which you'll need to phone up and discuss with us in advance. So next up are our community-led activity grants. They can offer funding of up to £150,000 for between three and five years worth of activities. They're for local community groups, so we're, we're looking at organisations that are based in a local area and generally are run and led by local people. The community-led activity grants can be used for a real mix of activities, so long as they improve the well-being of people within your local area. Basically, if they're focused on one area or neighbourhood and offer a real mix of things that let people of all ages and abilities take part to improve their well-being, there's a reasonable chance that it might fit with this funding programme. So far we funded things like local healthy eating groups, gardening projects, community health and exercise programmes and, and much more. And this is one of the funds where I mentioned that we are looking for specifically local community run and led organisations to apply. Now we're into our Improving Lives grants. These grants are for up to five years and are targeted at a handful of specific types of activities that we want to fund. So Improving Lives grants are only really suitable for you if you're going to be applying for money too support children, young people and families in challenging circumstances, support people who have experienced abuse, tackle loss, isolation and loneliness, or challenge discrimination and people affected by this. Projects doing one or more of these things can apply for our Medium Improving Lives grants for up to £150,000 and it takes roughly four months to get a grant from this if you're successful. Large grants for Improving Lives are also available up to £1 million although competition for these is very, very high at the moment, so it's currently unlikely that we'll offer grants of more than about 500,000 through that. Also, the application process for those larger grants is a bit longer, it takes six to nine months. 
Finally, we run a couple of large grant funds in Scotland that are focused on community ownership of assets, and these are the Scottish Land Fund and our Community Assets Programme. Both of these funds, again, are meant for organisations that are run and led by local people within a specific local area, so usually neighbourhood, small, small part of a town, that sort of thing. First up is the Scottish Land Fund, so which we run alongside Highlands and Islands Enterprise and for the Scottish Government using their money. This offers grants of up to £1 million to allow local communities to take ownership of land, buildings or other assets that are important to them. You can apply for funds to actually acquire the land or buildings, but you can't get the cost of physically developing it. The Community Assets Fund, on the other hand, also offers grants of up to £1 million, which can also cover the cost of purchasing local buildings or assets, but the difference being here that it can also fund the physical development, the capital costs of bringing those up to a certain standard or developing a new building, something along those lines. Competition for our Community Assets Grant is incredibly high, so one of the things that will be very, very important is being able to show a direct link from need, disadvantage or inequality in your area to the plan that you come to us to deliver. So there has to be a clear link from what those issues are to the asset that you're developing and, and that has to be a motivation for why you're developing it. Applying to the last few funds that we mentioned, that's community-led activity, improving lives, Scottish Land Fund and Community Assets is a little bit different. You have to get in touch with us for an informal chat about what you're looking to do before you actually apply. So email us, phone us, our number's up here behind me or it's on the leaflet that you looked at earlier. Last but not least, you'll also see in the leaflet that we mention three approaches to our funding that we want to see most applicants demonstrate in their application. These are things that are, we think are important for the work that we fund and just to explain them in a little bit more detail, um, particularly for our medium and large grants, these are things that we'll have a look at and that you will specifically be asked about in most of the applications. So by people-led, we're talking about demonstrating to us that people will be able to take part, people who are taking part in your activities will be able to have their say in shaping, developing, planning and running these activities. By strength-based, we want to see, we want to fund things that tap into local resources and are based not just on what people need but also what they're interested in and what they're good at. In terms of connected we want to see that the work you are looking for us to fund will fill a gap and also will fit in with other things that exist in your area and um, will get relevant referrals and so on. So well done if you remembered all that, I certainly struggled to. If you'd like to discuss any of the ideas that you have about applying for a grant then or ask us a question, then get in touch. Our email address is behind me here, advice scotland at biglotteryfund.org.uk, or you can call us on 0300 123 7110 or tweet us at Big Scotland. My name is Alistair Jackson from Big Lottery Fund. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.